Okay, let's review one genetic evolution um, system example here. So first of all, um, our trading genome population is defined. We want long entry signals based on a cycle with a length between 20 or 100 bars. And we add a long exit signal based on the technical market conditions. So if we have an overbought market, uh, we want to close existing in long trades, uh, which means we choose a technical market condition based, for example, here on the RSI indicator uh, with an unknown length um, setting uh, as, as a value here. So, and in addition to that, uh, the short entry, we use an additional cycle uh, with the length uh, between 20 and 100 bars, same as the long entry signal here. And in addition to that, we add a short access strategy based in addition to that also on a technical market condition based on the RFE uh, with a different length setting and a value for a crossover here. So our trading system we want to use here um, is based on the population with an cycle to go long and uh, another cycle to go short the cycle length is not known here so we um, detect the cycle length based on a genetic algorithm here and we will close our long trades here based on the technical market condition which means that the length setting for the rsi and the value which is used for crossover is also not known and will be detected by the genetic algorithm so um, same for the short signal here um, all these values uh, will be now feeded into a genome with chromosomes and genes and the genes uh, will be mutated based on the values and the range we set here. So our, in addition to that, our evolution rule set uh, for the survival of the fittest, um, we use the following. We want a constant upsloping equity curve. Um, in addition to that, we favor the highest system quality number, SQN, based on um, favored systems number. Um, and the more trades, the better. So we want a minimum trade of 20 trades here. Um, everything below 20 will not be counted. If we see the system example here, if that you can combine every cycle with every exit strategy for the RSI based on these two values and combine this with any short entry signal and combine any short entry signal with any technical market condition here, we will get a total search space of over 7 billion possible genomes. So this population we defined here gives us a search base of over 7 billion possible systems. If you take into account a computer maybe use 100 milliseconds to evaluate um, each system for the last 15 years, which is quite fast, um, then you will need 23 years of computer power to calculate all 7 billion systems with the brute force algorithm. So just keep in mind, you will use around 23 years to calculate each possible systems, which for sure in our trading world is not possible here. So that's the feature where the genetic algorithm comes in. So um, yeah, let's look how these um, genetic algorithm is will be used with the cycles platform here. So first of all, we use the SSP, S&P 500 daily index here. Uh, yeah, for around the last 10 years, we define the in-sample period uh, in the range of 2005 up to uh, January, March 2012. So this is the in-sample period, which means that the genetic algorithm uses this area here to evolve the parameters here. We have an out sample period. So the out of sample period starts in the beginning of 2012 up to today, November 2013. So we can evaluate um, how this um, system would have been performed in this time frame here. And this time frame is not used to optimize or detect uh, the genetic algorithm here. So we created our genome based on our definitions here. Just to review for the bi chromosome, we entered a cycle length here because the cycle length and the phase will be detected by the um, genes which are put in here. Uh, the cell chromosome is also a cycle where the length is not known, so the length will be detected by the gene which are mutated and crossover engines here. And the exit long strategy is based on the crossover of an unknown value. 
uh, for as i with an unknown length setting. So the length setting and the value will be also detected via genes and the mutation. And the exit short strategy, we see the crossover strategy of the RSI, again with an unknown length setting and a value which is not known so far. So these is feed in as our um, population here. So we create the genome and the population here and then our fitness criteria are defined that we want uh, the system quality number to be as high as possible. If uh, the traits count is below 20, we will penalize the system quality number. We want an ideal equity curve, so which means here the better the uh, the lower the error, the better the the fitness here, and the higher the trait count, uh, yeah, the better the value. So we get a total fitness evaluation here with based on these three parameters here. Uh, with a simple individual fitness here. So, and just to see how the genetic algorithm worked, just after around four to five minutes, I stopped the algorithm about four or five minutes uh, after running it. So keep in mind, we calculated that we would need 23 years to calculate calculate each of the seven billion possible systems here. So by running the genetic algorithm, we have found interesting system combinations here with a net profit above around 1000 um, S&P index points, profitability score about 70%, profit factor trades around 100 trades, and with the system quality number, yeah, between two and three, uh, which are great values if you evaluate trading systems. So we can stop our genetic evolution process just after five minutes and then we will move on to the top 10 systems found here. So now we will review the um, equity curve based on the um, yeah, found, found systems here. So you, we, we can browse that what you see here is the in-sample period up to the red line. And after the red line, we see the out-of-sample period. So now it's important to browse the top 10 and to look for genomes which have uh, also been uh, yeah, worked out in the um, out-of-sample period. So I will browse the um, found systems here, the top 10 systems here, and you see just the top four is a very interesting candidate here. We have a constant up sloping equity curve and even the out of sample period looks like the same in the in sample period. So this is the very valid and very stable signal here. So let's move over to the systems. You see, um, yeah, the scripts here are directly uh, uh, printed to the screen, the buy script, the sell script, the exit script here. And now you can just um, analyze this trading here against the S&P. So this would be our uh, trading the S&P based on the gen gen genetic script with the cycles here. And this is the real behavior of the S&P. So you see nice outperformance performance and upsloping equity curve. We have the trade log and the system statistics here for the in-sample, out-sample. We have um, uh, percent profitable of around 70%. Um, yeah, we have a profit factor 2.3 and we have a um, yeah, system quality number with 26.9. Even the in sample and out of sample period look, look quite stable and time. So this is an interesting system found here. Then you can plot it on the chart. So this is just the chart with the cycles detected here. Um, and now you can see how the trades are shown on the chart here with the uh, buy, sell, buy, sell, exit, buy, sell. So this is the complete out of sample period, which has not been taken into account in, into this um, evaluation here. So this is just one example to show that the genetic algorithm um, yeah, is able to detect uh, very robust and solid trading strategies in about five minutes out of a total search space of over 7 billion possible system counts here. So um, this is just one example on the daily chart, uh, which you can review here.